Hi everyone, Ron Brown here from Tech for Senior, and Merry Christmas. If you're thinking about buying a Chromebook for yourself, for a friend, or even as a Christmas gift, today's video will make that decision a lot easier. Chromebooks are fast, they're secure, they're affordable, and they're perfect for seniors. Picking the right one isn't always simple. So today I'll walk you through the best Chromebook buying tips to help you choose the perfect Chromebook for 2025. Chromebooks make wonderful Christmas gifts, especially for seniors. Reason number one, they're simple. Everything updates automatically, no antivirus, and no stress. Reason number two is they're very secure. Chrome OS uses verified boot and automatic protection to keep you safe online. Reason number three is they're affordable. At Christmas, budgets matter. Chromebooks often cost hundreds less than Windows or Mac laptops. Reason number four is they stay fast over time. No clutter and no slowdown. And finally, they're great for tasks that you love to do. Email, YouTube, Zoom, online banking, photos, or cloud storage. If that sounds like you or someone you love, you are in the right place. So the most important Christmas tip I can give you about buying a Chromebook is to check the AUE. That is the automatic update expiration. Now let me just explain, all Chromebooks, at least new Chromebooks, will have a 10-year life cycle. In other words, Google will update that machine for a period of 10 years. The thing, though, that you must understand is that's of the date that machine was manufactured, not the date when you buy it. So if you buy a four-year-old Chromebook that's been sitting on the shelf in a store, then of course it only has six years left. So never, and I mean never, buy a Chromebook with less than three or four years of updates left. How do you check it? Search Google for Chromebook AUE list. Find your model and check the expiration date. During Christmas sales, you'll see many older Chromebooks with huge discounts. They look tempting, but they're often very short support left. Don't get trapped by a fake deal. This also has really big implications if you're looking at refurbished Chromebooks online. These are often leasebacks from school systems, and again, may have a very short AUE life. So you really want to check the AUE on your model of Chromebook before you purchase it. All right, before we get into some of the hardware specifications I'm going to recommend, purchasing a Chromebook can be confusing because there are so many companies and so many models. So how do you pick the best for yourself? And there's one way to do that. A few years ago, Google came out with a specification called Chromebook Plus. And so if you see the designation of Chromebook Plus on a Chromebook, that means that it will have the specifications to work pretty much as a PC. It will have all the fast graphics cards, processors, and adequate hardware to give you a very good experience. And that's designated on the box, it's easy to see, and it will have the Chromebook Plus label on there. So if I was you and you were looking for a Chromebook, I would look simply for Chromebook Pluses. It has any, any Chromebook with that designation has these following specifications that I'm putting up on the screen now, and this is what you need to have as a minimum for to make your Chromebook work really well for you. Let me go over some of the specifics today that might give you some help. Now, if we look at the processors, I would choose at least an Intel N20 or an Intel i3. 
AMD makes uh, 3,000 and 7,000 series that go into a Chromebook or MediaTek 520 or 828. Avoid the old Celeron processors. They're really too slow for 2025. Now, Chromebooks are a lot different than PCs, so they don't need as much RAM. And you're going to be surprised if the sweet spot today is around 8 gigabytes. I know if you're going to go out and buy a PC, you're probably looking at 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM. No wonder they cost so much money. That's why Chromebooks are a lot cheaper. They will run perfectly fine with 8 gigabytes. That's the sweet spot. If you use AI tools or multitask, you could go up to 16 gigabytes, but that's pretty rare. But you can find them with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now let's talk about uh, storage or hard drive capacity. Again, this is one of the areas that Chromebooks don't need a lot of hard drive capacity because by and large, most of the things you're going to be doing will be stored in the cloud. Now, I would suggest probably about 64 or 128 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space. Now, you, you should be aware that, of course, they all have a multitude of ports and you can easily add external memory, which today is extremely cheap. Now, I often get asked from my seniors group, what's the ideal screen size? And for that, I say bigger is better. Plug it into your television and get an 82 inch screen. Bigger is always better when you are a senior and you're having vision problems. You can plug a Chromebook into anything, plug it into external monitors. If you have an old monitor kicking around, an old 34 inch monitor, plug your Chromebook in there so you don't need a huge screen on your Chromebook. Um, 11 inches is pretty small, it's portable and it's light, but I don't really think that's gonna work very well. 14 inches is usually the best all around size. Uh, if you get up to 15.6 inches, uh, that's great for seniors if you have some vision problems. But again, I would much rather to plug a Chromebook into a 34-inch monitor and have a nice big screen to see. So remember, it's not so important because you can plug your Chromebook into anything. It works great. Now, the next question I get to ask is, should you have a touch screen? Now, usually touch screens go with flipping a Chromebook. So in other words, the screen flips back on itself and you can make a tablet. And of course, then you would want a touch screen. I sort of recommend touch screens. You'll find that on a lot of Chromebook Pluses. The reason is, is that a lot of the apps that we use on Chromebooks, and one of the big advantages of Chromebooks, is you can take all the apps that you use on your phone, your Android phone, and they all work on your Chromebook. In fact, you can download the apps off the Play Store, hey, you know where that is, right onto your Chromebook, and they all work the same. But a lot of these apps are touchy-feely apps. You have to uh, touch the screen to move it around, and that's probably what you're used to. And so you'll feel much better with a touch screen. So I often recommend a touch screen. It certainly adds a little bit of cost to the Chromebook, but I think it's well worthwhile. Now your battery life, uh, Chromebooks don't need as much power as PCs. So again, you're looking at probably 10 hours or more would be your average battery life on a Chromebook. I know that a lot of my Chromebooks, I get, even get three or four days out of them with pretty heavy use. So it depends, but look for some good battery life on your Chromebook. So let me address two common questions I get asked. It's about USB ports and micro SD cards. Let me address the micro SD card first. You'll see in this image, this is a Chromebook with an internal micro SD card. You can add memory to your Chromebook by simply sliding this card in to a port in your Chromebook. We still see these around as some machines still have these. There is a tendency now to make Chromebooks thinner and sleeker. So we see less of these add-on devices internal to Chromebooks. Now, you can take a micro SD card and add it to a USB hub, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So there are many ways of adding extra memory to a Chromebook. You just don't often see the internal memory to the Chromebook anymore. Let me address now uh, the 
USB ports. Some of you say, oh wow, my machine has lots of ports. Others say, mine only had one type C port. What happened? So what are we, what's happening with all these ports? Well, of course the USB type A, which you see here, not found on very many Chromebooks anymore. It's pretty, pretty old technology. Most modern Chromebooks today will have a USB-C port, as you see on this Chromebook. You may have one or two USB-C ports, and you're wondering, how am I going to plug everything in? As, as I mentioned earlier, these machines get tinier and thinner. The manufacturers don't want to put more ports on them. So it's really a function of size and sleekness. So it doesn't matter if you have one Type-C port, that's all you really need because you can plug a Type-C hub into the Chromebook and then you can plug a whole bunch of things into it. HDMI, you can plug an HDMI cable in, you can plug power cables, you can plug all sorts of things into that hub. You can even daisy chain hubs. There is no limit on the amount of devices that you can plug into a Chromebook. It's not you, you, it just goes forever. Here are the quick tips to help you avoid surprises when shopping this holiday season. <laughs> Tip number one, don't buy anything less than six years of AUD updates left. Remember, you have 10 years. Give yourself at least six years. Tip number two, avoid models for under $200 unless you've really checked the specs carefully. Remember, my recommendation is that you buy a Chromebook Plus, which will be a little bit more. Tip number three, December often brings back Black Friday pricing. Wait for the right moment. Deals are coming. Tip number four is you can buy Chromebooks at Costco. Yes, they have an electronics section and you can buy Chromebooks there and it's a top choice. Uh, they have great warranties, easy returns, and very reliable models. You don't have quite the same selection as larger stores that have big electronics displays, but you'll find a pretty good selection that I think you'll be happy with. Tip number five, Amazon Lightning deals often look good, but always check the AUE date first and watch out for those refurbished machines. Tip number six, if buying for kids or grandchildren, Look for rugged models with spill-resistant keyboards. Tip number seven, choose a comfortable keyboard, larger keys, and backlit lighting, particularly if you're looking for a Chromebook for a senior. The backlighting of the keyboard is really important. Tip number eight, if you take lots of photos, consider a Google One plan that often comes with a Chromebook it gives you extra cloud backup. And I'll put in the description a video I've just made about the family sharing of a good Google One plan. So you can share the cloud storage with up to five members of your family. L good thing to look into, and you can watch that video. I'll put the description below. So buying a Chromebook for Christmas can be one of the best decisions you make this year. They're fast, they're secure, and they're simple. Check the AUE date, get eight gigabits of RAM, and choose the right screen size. Don't fall for too good to be true deals. And be sure, if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe, and share it with someone who might be shopping for a Chromebook this holiday season. Thanks for watching, and for all of us, at Tech for Senior, have a Merry Christmas.